welcome to Seeds by C. My name is Celia Murray and the purpose of this channel is to drop seeds of knowledge as it relates to faith, family, and finance. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of a name. Those letters that are grouped together that form our names. Names have power, names have influence. We don't have a choice with the name that's given to us at birth, but we do have a choice on what we build with that name. What are you building with your name? What does your name represent? And actually, when people ask you, what is your name? They're not really asking, what is your name? They're trying to figure out your identity. Who are you? That's the question. I wanna share with you the story of the chicken and the eagle. There once was an eagle who lost his egg. A farmer found the egg and placed it amongst his chickens. The egg hatched and the eaglet grew up amongst the chickens. He thought he was a chicken. He did everything that the chickens did. They taught him the principles of being a chicken and so he just went about his life thinking he was a chicken. Then one day, a man came to the farm and he saw the eagle acting like a chicken. And he said, why is that eagle acting like a chicken? And the farmer said, he's no longer an eagle. He was an eagle, but he's not an eagle anymore. He's a chicken. And the man said, no, he was born an eagle. He will always be an eagle. The farmer said, no, no, you don't understand. He is no longer an eagle. The man continued to talk to the farmer, but the farmer wasn't hearing it. So the man went to the eagle and he said, you are an eagle. You are meant to fly. And then the eaglet looked and then he was scared and he ran back to his comfort zone in the midst of the chicken coop. The man left and he came back the next day and he went to the eagle. He said, look, you are an eagle. You are not a chicken. And the eagle said, I'm a chicken. Yes, I am. And in the midst of their talking, an eagle flew above. And the man said, look, right there, that's an eagle. That's what you are. He said, wow. The man said, yes, you're meant to do the same thing. You're not meant for the ground. You're meant for the sky. The eaglet looked back over at the chickens and he looked at the man and he didn't know what to do. The man picked him up carried him a far way away from the chickens where he couldn't see the chickens anymore to a top of a mountain. And then he let him go and said, fly. And the eagle flew high. And I love that story. That eagle would have spent his whole life thinking he was a chicken, everything he needed to be an eagle, to soar, to fly, was inside of him. It was within him, but he didn't even know it. Greatness inside. I'm talking directly to you. You are not your past experience. You are meant for greatness. You. You. Yes, you. When I think about names, I also think about um, automobiles. You know, they all have a, a, a name and they all come with manuals. Most people don't read the manual. Therefore, they're not maximizing the features of that particular car because they didn't open the manual. They didn't read the manual. I wanna read you something from a manual. It's the book of Psalms, 
uh, chapter 139, and I'm going to read verse 13 through um, 16. And it reads, For you created my innermost parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was hidden from you. When I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in a book before one of them even came to be. Let me read that again. All the days ordained for me was written in a book before one of them came to be. Before I came to be, it was written of me. It was written of you in the book, the manual. Maximize your life. You were created for greatness. I remember when I thought my life was not worth living at the age of 13, 12, 13. I really wanted to end it all. But I wouldn't have been able to do all of the things that I do today and that I've done over the years. So if you're struggling, if you feel that your life doesn't matter, I'm telling you, your life matters. There's people that are waiting for the gifts that may be laying dormant within you. Tap into who you actually are. Eagles are very powerful. When there's a storm, when other birds are running away from the storms and hiding, the eagle faces the storm head on. He goes into the storm and guess what? The storm, the wind of the storm gives him height and then he glides above the clouds. The eagle faces his enemies. You are born for greatness. We all have a purpose. You are not your job title. You are not the negative things that people have spoken to you. Understand that. Understand that. A new year, new beginnings, new opportunities. And I think of sometimes, you know, we go through challenges in life and, and people say, oh, it's too hard. But guess what? A heavyweight champion doesn't become a heavyweight champion by laying down. When everyone else is sleeping, the heavyweight champion is running, is building himself up. It is a process. The struggle builds you. It builds character. It builds you. Not bitterness, character, experience, knowledge, build, go through the process, stay strong. You will make it through it. You will do well. You will do great things. There's greatness inside of you. You will succeed. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. And I will see you soon. Take care.